Welcome back to the Common Sense Crusade with me, the Reverend Calvin Robinson, on your TV, online and on your wireless. This week, the Church of England doubled down on CRT with the pyramid of white supremacy being taught in Church of England schools. The Church of England's guidance for schools is seeped in the divisive language of critical race theory. I'm joined by the Reverend Brett Murphy to discuss this madness. Father Brett, thank you for joining us again. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. I mean, what's your thought on this? What, let me ask you first and foremost, what is the Christian stance on racism? Well, a true Christian can't actually ever be a racist because if you really believe the Bible and you take it for God at his word, you'll see that all human beings are made in Margot Day, which is a fancy theological way of saying in the image of God. So if every single human being is made in God's image, then the level of melanin in your skin to change your skin tone means very little or nothing, uh, except for say ethnic cultures, which can be celebrated. They're beautiful things, the, ver the variety of the human race, but there's only one race, the human race. Uh, so I think if you take a genuinely biblical worldview, it's impossible to actually be a racist. Inherently not racist, but the Church of England is going a step further and saying that you have to be actively anti-racist and if you're not if you're not um what's the word conflicting or, or if you're not actively confronting racism then it leads to mass murder they've put out this this pyramid of white supremacy you go from indifference up to minimization and then you've suddenly entered veiled racism which leads to discrimination calls for violence kkk neo-nazis burning crosses and then you've got violence including lynching and hate crimes and then you end up in mass murder from not confronting racism, from not being actively anti-racist. Now, this doesn't seem to me to fall in line with what I've read in the scriptures, but maybe you've got a different take, Father Brett. Well, it just depends on what they define as anti-racism. So they've defined it as something unscriptural, so, which seems to be the trend for the Church of England these days. Mm -hmm. They have decided to go along with something based on secular cultural Marxism. Uh, that pyramid actually causes a division between ethnicities uh, in the human race, the single race that all people belong to, uh, the children of God. And the an unfortunate thing about that is they could actually present a really positive worldview. Yeah, we should actively be opposed to racism from a biblical standpoint. But because they've drifted so far from the Bible, they then therefore look out to other sources to find some sort of way to interpret the world. And also they just want a woke virtue signal. And you end up with this kind of wacky stuff, which is so far from scripture, it's, it's a joke, it's laughable. Yeah, I don't even think it's just far from scripture. I think it's counter scriptural. I think the idea of white mm. supremacy and white privilege is, is trying to undermine the idea of original sin and replace it, as I spoke about in my monologue, with whiteness a sin that you cannot repent of and you cannot be forgiven of. It's bizarre to me. But Father Brett, is this one of the reasons you ended up leaving the Church of England recently? Yes, it's one of the many reasons why I departed from the C of E. So the, the sort of, I think the woke path they're on is a dead end. Uh, God won't bless it. And it also means they get very hostile towards people who hold firm to the Bible. Uh, and you see, you, you report on lots of this, Father, they don't like people who stand firm on the truth and they don't want them around in their churches. So uh, I didn't want to be a part of a church that had embraced that sort of stuff. So I departed. Well, welcome to the Free Church of England, brother. It's good to have Thank you. Thank you. Um, where can people find out more about your mission, your ministry? Um, you want to plug your YouTube channel? <laughs> so if they search my name, Rev Brett Murphy, they'll find me on socials and they can also search for my new church plant, my Gafcon Church, Emmanuel Free Church of England, Morecambe. As always, lovely to speak to you. Thank you very much for what you're doing. Keep fighting the good fight for the faith.